Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karwan. In this video, I'm going to be talking about everything that you want to know about gate examination. We will cover what is gate, what is the paper pattern, what is the syllabus for gate English literature, and how to cover the syllabus in the easiest possible way. Kai jaiye ga mat, kyunki towards the end of the video, we will cover what kind of books should you be referring to in order to prepare for gate exam and clear it in first attempt. So this video is extremely crucial and I would recommend you to watch it till the end because this video contains each and everything that any aspirants looking forward to clear gate exam wants to know. So let us begin and first talk about the gate exam. So the gate exam stands for Graduate Aptitude Test for Engineering. It is an entrance exam that was primarily conducted for PG Engineering, Science and Management courses at IITs in India. GATE is usually linked with the science and engineering field. I hope you can recall that some of your friends back in class 11th and 12th were aiming to clear JE exam in order to pursue engineering or BTEC from IITs. However, if one fails to pursue engineering from IIT but still wants to complete a post-graduation from IIT, he or she has to clear the GATE exam. In simplest terms, JE is for admission into bachelor's and GATE is for admission into master's. Now you might ask that this is for engineering, right? How is GATE important when it comes to humanity subject, especially English literature? So let me inform you, recently IITs have taken a very significant decision. They have started courses for many subjects from humanities such as economics, English literature, psychology. In order to get admission in such courses, they also have started conducting GATE exam for these subjects as well. Last year, IIT Bombay conducted this exam, whereas this year, IIT Kanpur is conducting it. Slowly, you will see that many other IITs will also associate themselves in this process. Friends, now we move on to the next section of the video. Here, we will be talking about the paper pattern. The first thing you need to know is that the paper will have 65 questions and the total number of marks is 100. The paper is in the form of MCQ, that is multiple choice questions. There are no subjective questions asked anywhere in GATE exam. It's a computer-based test just like UGC net. The paper is of 3 hours and there is negative marking. So the difference between UGC net and GATE is that GATE may negative marking hai, UGC net may negative marking nahi hai. Now let's talk about the qualification required to clear this exam. So anyone in the third year of undergraduate degree or anyone who has completed their undergraduate course is eligible for grade. Let us look at the age limit now. Friends, there's no age limit for this exam. I could have done my undergraduation at the age of 21 and I can still appear for gate exam at the age of 45. There is absolutely no age limit. The only criteria is either you should have completed your undergraduate degree or you should be in the third year of your undergraduate degree. Now let's talk about the validity of the marks. Your certificate, your GATE certificate will be valid for three years. Means you will have to get enrolled for the master's program within three years of clearing GATE. Friends, there's no limit on the number of attempts you can give for GATE. You can give the exam as many times as you want. Coming on to the last and final topic, that is cutoff. Cutoff is usually around 55%. It means that you have to score 55% to clear this exam, that means 55 marks out of 100. If you look at the cutoff of GATE 2021, the cutoff was 40%, which means you need to get 40 marks out of 100. And for GATE 2022, the cutoff shot up to 55%. And all of this I'm talking about English literature. So friends, if you notice, the cutoff is increasing every year. And because negative marking is also at the play, it becomes increasingly difficult to score well. But I want to tell you that if you have command over the basics, you are good to go. So friends, let's now talk about the participating institutes in the exam. As of now, there are eight participating institutes. These are IIT Kharagpur, IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Guwahati, IIT Kanpur, IIT Chennai, IIT Roorkee and IISC Bangalore, which is Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. So there are eight institutes out of which seven are IITs and one is ISC. From the general section, which includes general aptitude, reasoning, comprehension, there are 25 questions. The syllabus is not very strict. It's pretty similar to what has been asked in any other competitive exam. There are questions like clock, 
percentage, sitting arrangement, missing numbers, patterns, etc. You can pick any guidebook in the market to prepare for this section. One important tip here is that please go through the previous year papers, solve them to understand what kind of questions are asked, what is the difficulty level. Also, if you have any questions or queries, you can put them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. Now, if you are looking for past year papers of GATE exam, GATE English particularly, then we invite you to visit our website right now. We have provided all past year papers of GATE exam along with answer key free of cost on our website. You can simply go download the papers and start your preparation right away. Now that we know a little bit about the general aptitude reasoning section, it is time to look at the soul of the paper, which is English literature section. Friends, English literature carries 60% weightage. That means out of 100 marks, English literature carries 60 marks. And this is the section where mostly students flunk. Because general aptitude is very easy. If you have ever appeared for school olympiads or any competitive exam, you will be able to clear the general section. However, Naya Dukti hai English literature. Mein. The syllabus of English literature is so vast that students are not able to ace this section. So now let us understand the syllabus of English literature of GATE exam. So the brochure of GATE exam uses a very different language, I would say a complicated kind of language to explain the units that are there in the syllabus. Students often get scared looking at it. Let me break down the syllabus so that you can understand it in a much more better way. So if you look at C 2.1, that is multi-genre literature in English. focus To simplify it, it basically says you should read all the poets, novelists, essays, short story writers of English literature. In short, it basically covers the entire British literature and a lot of other things which I'm going to soon talk about. Friends, then we have C 2.2, which is Comparative Context Anglophone and English Translation Literature from India. Another very complicated way of talking about the syllabus. Basically, this unit is all about Indian literature. It includes Indian literature, Indian aesthetics, contemporary Indian writing. Moving on to C. 2.3, which is Literary Criticism and Theory. In this way, you have to cover the two units, Literary Criticism as well as Theory. Which books we will talk about a little bit C. 2.4 is History of English Literature, which is similar to what we have discussed in C. 2.1, but in this basically, you have to know chronological history. So, you should know the history of English literature plus all the writers, including the dramatists, novelists and poets, of each particular age. Now, the last one is C 2.5, which is research approaches and methodology along with literary forms, devices, concepts and genre. Now, this is nothing but they have clubbed two units. One is research methodology and one is rhetorics and prosody. So now that we know the syllabus, let us put it in a simple way. And I am going to present it in front of you a very simplified syllabus, which I have divided in 10 units. You know, units ko club kar diya hai. I have segregated it and divided it in 10 units. One thing to note here is that there are certain things which they have not mentioned in their syllabus but are asked in the exam. This difficulty we also face in net exam. Hence, I'm presenting a simplified syllabus based on the brochure as well as based on the past year papers and the questions that are asked in that particular exam. Okay, so first of all, you should have an in-depth knowledge of British literature, unit 1. You should know all the ages. You should know every age's major and minor writer. You should know every major writer's works. And you should know all the novels, plays, poetry, fiction, non-fiction, short stories, summaries and detail. Next, we have Indian literature. Now, this is very important to cover. In Indian literature, we're not going to cover the Indian literature, but contemporary Indian literature and the Indian aesthetics. Next, we have American literature, post-colonial literature, European literature. Okay, so American literature, post-colonial and European literature mentioned in the brochure, mein, but questions are there. So, you have to study all the prominent writers of all the three literature. Post-colonial literature, you have to further divide karna hoga country wise. You have to read Canadian, Caribbean, Australian, and all the other post-colonial literatures, right? Now, after these five units, that is British, American, post-colonial, European and Indian, 
नेक्स्ट इन लाइन इज लिटरी क्रिटिसिजम एंड लिटरी थियरी दीज आर टू सेपरेट यूनिट्स रिमेंबर एंड यू हैव टू स्टडी दैम सेपरेटली अनदर टॉपिक दैट दे आर नॉट मैंशन इन द सिलेबस इज लिटरी टर्म्स एंड डिवाइसिस दिस टॉपिक इंक्लूड्स लिटरी मूवमेंट्स ऑल्सो लाइक मेटाफिजिकल पोइट्स ट्रांसिडेंटल लिटरेचर सो यू हैव टू नॉट ओनली स्टडी लिटरी टर्म्स एंड डिवाइसिस बट ऑल्सो स्टडी लिटरी मूवमेंट्स नाउ दीज आर अगैन टू डिफरेंट यूनिट्स and finally we have research methodology so now that you see you have 10 units that you have to cover thoroughly for gate so let's quickly look at the 10 units we have british literature american literature post colonial european indian we have literary criticism literary theory we have literary terms and devices literary movements and research methodology and all of these units are very important for gate because sabse questions aate hain if you compare this syllabus with ugc net you will see that the syllabus of both these exams are 99% same friends now that you have looked at the syllabus let's look at the important books from which you can prepare problem is that there is no one book that covers all these units so you have to refer to different books for different units luckily for the unit 1 british literature you have many books available in the market you can refer to routledge history of english literature or english uh, history by william j long but the problem with these books is that they are brilliant for history to understand the chronology but they don't tell the works of each writer so it becomes very difficult to refer to these books and make notes from these books for the works for example this book will talk about john nan as a writer and also mention some of his important works but they'll just state the name of the poem they will not give you summary and analysis of the poem So for all this you have to go to different source to get the summary and then you have to take the help of internet and create proper notes now the challenge is that you just don't have to study british literature uski kam se kam ek kitab to hai but american literature european post colonial indian literature ki koi bhi kitab nahi hai there is no particular book for all these countries another important thing is that you might find that there are a few books available in the market for these topics but the challenge is that either they are extremely detailed consisting of like 900 pages or they are very concise ki usme aapko kuch bhi nahi milega so for world literature i would recommend you that rather than going to books you should use internet sites like litcharts great saver cliff notes e notes so basically make a list of all the important writers of world literature that are asked in the exam and study them separately from wikipedia and then make a list of all the important works of these writer and study them from these sites literary great saver clip notes i know it's a little difficult thing to do and that is the reason why we are here with an online course we cover all important topics writers and works in our online course the detailed list of all these writers that are covered in our online course is available free of cost on our website arpitakarwa.com so you can download this list free of cost and start preparing for the exam by your own now friends after completing the entire literature british american post colonial european and indian let's talk about literary theory and literary criticism let's first talk about literary theory zyada dar lagta hai usse so there are two books for literary theory one is peter berry's literary theory and the other book is contemporary literary and cultural theory by pramod k nair friends these two books are very simple However if you have not studied literary theory in your bachelor's then i don't think these books will make any sense in that case you have to check out a few videos posted by either me or other youtubers on literary theory that will give you a basic understanding of literary theory and then you can start reading from these books now let's talk about literary criticism there's a very good book called history of literary criticism by ramavat dwivedi and vikramaditya rai This book includes criticism by Aristotle, Plato, Matthew Arnold, T.S. Eliot, basically all the major literary critics. Again, if you have not studied literary criticism in bachelor's, please don't jump to this book. Rather, watch some YouTube videos, gain basic understanding and then start with the book. Another important topic that you must cover for this particular exam is literary terms and devices, for which you can refer to a glossary of literary terms by M.H. Abrahams. This book will give you information about literary terms, rhetorics, prosody, as well as literary movement. So, if you have read this book, then you will cover two units. Cover ho Last unit is research methodology. Again, there is no 
good book in the market available for research methodology but you can find some content online also look at the past year papers kya questions puch rahe hain accordingly you can make your own notes but i will tell you not a lot of questions are asked from this unit so even if you want to leave this unit you can now after talking about the syllabus and the books i would quickly talk about the number of questions that are asked from each of these units so friends the three main units from which most questions come are british literature indian literature and literary theory criticism se bhi aate hain but thode se kam from british literature 14 to 15 questions are asked every year from indian literature 10 to 11 questions are asked and 5 to 6 questions are asked from literary theory so from all the other units like american post colonial european literary terms and devices movements research methodology mila ke 8 ya 9 question aate hain बट इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि आप ये यूनिट छोड़ लेंगे बिकॉज एक एक मार्क से कट ऑफ पार करने से रह सकते हैं इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर पास्ट ईयर पेपर्स ऑफ गेड इंग्लिश देन आई इन्वाइट यू टू विजिट आवर वेबसाइट राइट नाउ ओनली आफ्टर लुकिंग एट द पास्ट ईयर पेपर्स आपको पता चलेगा कि क्या पढ़ना है और क्या छोड़ना है वी प्रोवाइडेड ऑल द पास्ट ईयर पेपर्स ऑफ गेट एग्जाम अलॉन्ग विद आंसर की फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑन आर वेबसाइट यू कैन सिंपली गो एंड डाउनलोड द पेपर एंड स्टार्ट योर प्रेपरेशन इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल देन प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो बाई गिविंग इट अ बिग फैन थम्स अप and also share it with other fellow aspirants who are struggling with similar kind of questions i'm quite eager to know how you felt about this video did you like it not like it did you find it helpful please share your views in the comments below also if you have any questions any doubts or if you want me to make a video on any other topic feel free to put that in the comment section below so that's it from my side for this video lecture i'll meet you very very soon with another interesting video So till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwar.com